Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to just introduce a, a topic I was interested in, which is about uh, how you can index um, a Korean uh, domain name, or at least a website uh, targeting uh, South Korea. And uh, we like to play with uh, what we call the neighbor search console, or at least what I'm calling the neighbor search console. I think the first question that you guys uh, would like to get an answer from is, uh, can you purchase a Korean, or at least a... Um, a domain name ending in .kr or .co.kr? Um, the answer is yes, it's possible. Typically, in my case, I use Netim, and uh, on Netim, you can purchase a .co.kr uh, domain name. Here's just the career domain name. Uh, here's the cost uh, associated to it on a year basis. But this cost uh, won't be enough. In fact, um, if you want to target it without being located in South Korea, you will need as well to purchase what they call a local partner or local office or something like this, which almost costs twice the price. So imagine that you need to pay close to 70 euro in order to get uh, your domain name. So in my case, I'm having mine. Uh, mine is uh, mine is over here, as you can see. Um, how did I succeed in getting this uh, content translated? Uh, I didn't use Google Translate. Uh, the reason why I didn't want to have it is that I wasn't like 100% sure that the translation coming from Google Translate will be perfect. Uh, so what I did is, I mean, my main question was about where could be the best possible technology in order to translate the content from English to Korean. That that was my, my big question. And for this, uh, you can use like Naver Translate. And the, say, the uh, service of Naver is named Papago. Um, I'm, after thinking about it, I'm not 100% sure that the best translation will come out of it, but I think it will be better than Google Translate. Though so on the other side, um, I on the other side, I also saw that when the content is purely translated with Google Translate, uh, it's performing bad on Google Translate. So after thinking about it, could be the same thing with Papago. And it's true that for me, it took uh, me some weeks in order to appear in, uh, in Naver with my website, with my Korean one. So I guess one way uh, which could uh, improve the process is like translating the content in Korean uh, with Papago, but as well to do it with Google Translate and like doing a mix of the two in order to have some content that in Korean that neighbor would have never seen or at least would not identify as his own translation and then uh, could definitely um, help you in uh, ranking within search engine but that's just a test I didn't perform. Um, okay so next uh, thing is about um, how can you create an access to uh, the call it the neighbor search console which is not the good name because uh, the name is I think it's search advisor or something like this uh, the neighbor search console is named the search advisor. Yeah. Um, okay, so in order to access to it, you just need to type over here neighbor search console. Um, well, here it's not working. Probably I access it through Google or something like this, but uh, you will end up in a website named search advisor. And uh, the big and difficult part here is to get your account not suspended. Uh, because the problem here is that as you are connecting or creating an account from abroad. So you can do it in, uh, in English, but the problem is that you will aut be automatically flagged if you follow like the basic process because your uh, IP is from outside uh, South Korea. At least for France, it has been uh, kind of banned. And, uh, and in fact, I got my account banned uh, suspended several times. And in order to show that you are a real human being, uh, you need to um, uh, use your mobile phone and if you use your mobile phone, your uh, probably your phone carrier will not be recognized and that's a mess. So in order to not get your account suspended, uh, the tweak that I found out is like you go on, on the classic uh, neighbor, uh, neighbor page uh, over here and from here, uh, what you do is that uh, you create an account from the neighbor website and by not using uh, your email, but by using a third party service. So in my case, I use Facebook and by creating Facebook and signing up with Facebook and creating an account on Naver, then um, Naver probably got more information in order to find out that my account is not like fraudulent and is a good one. 
Uh, and I think from what I've seen uh, within the forum that one of the reasons why uh, they may ban your account or suspend it is because they cannot find your picture straight away when you create a basic account. So I suggest that if you are a foreigner and if you wish to play with the neighbor search console, use your Facebook account in order to create uh, the search console. Once uh, the search console is created, um, the um, process is kind of the same thing as others, so Google, Bing, or anything like this. They give you different methods in order to show that you are the owner of your website. In my case, I think I formally use the HTML uh, file transfer code. It really works like Yandex, uh, so I did it. And once I did it, uh, you can, in fact, submit your URL. I think that's the, that's the part. Uh, everything is in Korean here, so it's kind of a mess in order to, uh, to know what it means. But you can always um, over your mouse, uh, over here. And as you can see um, on the bottom of my screen, you get, in fact, uh, the English URL, which, of course, helps a little bit. Uh, so here, for example, that should be in order to explore, I guess. That's written crawl, so I guess that's the one. Okay, so now that's just the performance of my uh, of my website. Okay, uh, well, you have... Uh, well, I think it's the first page or something like this. It's, uh, it's really straightforward. Uh, yeah, I think you just need to enter over here the name of your URL, and then you can click on Submit. It's going to send the bot of Naver uh, straight away on your website, so you can check it within the logs. And uh, weeks after, in my case, it really takes weeks in order for, to get my, uh, my uh, domain name um, index. So you can get it like by using an operator just like this. Um, at the beginning, when it was not indexed, it was kind of frustrating because you were getting the view results straight away, which has nothing to deal with your website. And now, as you can see, it's uh, indexing it uh, properly. So mission accomplished. Uh, dealing with uh, the visitors coming on your website, I'm not 100% sure because I just did this um, uh, this search without being logged and probably most of the neighbor people will be uh, logged in. So. I don't know if when you are logged in, you get uh, your search keyword sent, but it seems that actually the keywords are uh, are sent to um, uh, to the referrer, which is good as you can analyze it afterwards. In terms of visits, I'm not like uh, running on gold at the moment, as you can see. I'm not getting much people from from Korea, uh, a couple of them, but we were, which were coming from different other channels, not not the SEO one. Um, so I will see if it's going to work, but just to let you know, that if you want to um, index your website on the neighbor um, uh, search engine, well, you, you don't really need to have a, a TLD such as I did, uh, but you need, of course, to have uh, the search console. And to get the search console, my piece of advice will be, please do not create your account straight away. Use instead uh, the different method that they are giving you, such as um, uh, creating with uh, with Facebook and then you will <coughs> not be banned and then you can start to play with different resources of Naver Search Advisor. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.